what do you think, what is your take on contemporary, quote, accelerationism, which sustains something in the same vein, which I would read personally as Christian eschatology, but secular version through metaphysics, particularly mm. Deleuze, or Deleuze, yeah, yeah. And Deleuze but um, which somehow still retains the cynicism. The day after yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I, I agree. Many accelerationists have this cynical approach. Let's push it to the end because we know that at the end it will. There, but no, no, I agree with you. You know which point of accelerationism? Nonetheless, I accept this idea that accelerationism can be a good medicine against this, how should I call it, resistentialism. Global capitalism, then you look for some local sites of resistance, as if the solution is to locate places which still resist capitalism. You know, it can be culture, subcultures, or whatever. In this sense only, I'm for accelerationism, like uh, it will be inner antagonisms that will break the system, not, not Latino American or African tribes which, which have some holistic wisdom or whatever, you know. But you know, uh, uh, but uh, nonetheless, for me today, it's almost greater danger because, as far as I know, accelerationism, I don't know how efficient it is as a political force. Well, this resistentialism, how should I call it? has a certain power in Latin America, in Africa, and so on, and so on. And I, for me, always, beginning with in South Africa, I remember as a young boy, I was following there all the strikes and how, again, my oft-repeated motive, African National Congress never fell into this trap. We must retain our African identity and so on. King Butelezi, who was literally paid for in the service of Apartheid forces, she played this game, our African identity, and so on, and so on. You know, so uh, this, all this holistic, we, sorry, I talk too much.